Hey, uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, I'm just making a real quick video, kind of off subject. This definitely has nothing to do with RC. Um, so, man, Gronkowski was a rookie in this picture, okay? Um, the, he was a rookie, I believe, yeah, it was his rookie year. They actually won the AFC Championship. <clears throat> um, yes. It was in his rookie year, and the reason I, I I know it's his rookie year because you see the mar the the uh, this this um, patch that they were wearing was for uh, Mrs. Kraft. Um, that's her initials, M H K. Um, and that was his rookie season when they wore those. And the other reason I can tell that it's his, from his rookie season is look who's in the back over there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring this into the light, actually, you guys. Um, <laughs> look who's in the back right there. Who's that? If you guys are a real Patriots fan, leave it in the comments down below if you know who the hell that is. I know who it is. I know who it is. Guaranteed, I know who it is. I don't have to say it. But actually, you know what? I will. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll say it in, in a different way. <laughs> Hold on one second. Um, this case actually fell. I don't know if you can see that right there, though. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you this way. If you guys can figure out whose uh, signature that is on this mini helmet, um, then you'll figure out who it is. It's also on the front of this thing right here, too, so I don't want to give it up. Tom Brady autograph football, guys. Super Bowl. Used. In-game. Don't know exactly what it was used for. Maybe like a practice ball or a punting ball or something. Silver pen auto. You guys know who that is? Hmm? Who's that? That was his last sack he ever got in the NFL in a Super Bowl. He went on to play in the Falcon Super Bowl, but then he retired the year after. Silver pen, guys. Silver pens are silver pens are always a little bit more um, Christmas present from my wife, and then my favorite of all favorites, longtime Vikings fan guys. I've been a Vikings fan for many many years. Let's go see that good old Fran Tarkington, his old ass right there signing the jersey. This is not an NFL licensed jersey, guys, and. Um, uh, he does that so that he doesn't have to pay gratuities to the NFL. This is just a purple jersey that looks like a Vikings jersey with the colors, but it's not NFL logoed, which um, makes it so that it's not worth as much, but it, I don't give a shit. That's not what it's about to me. The Just having this jersey that was actually signed by Fran himself, that's that fucking means everything to me. So certificate of authenticity down there. Tom Brady autograph ball and the uh, certificate is there. Certificate of authenticity is right there. Man, that is so dusty. Oh my god, David. That's, that's fucking gross. Right there, certificate of authenticity. Um now, real quick before my phone dies, you guys. Let me get back to this picture here. When I bought this photo, okay, I paid $399 for it. Um, but I bought it as a bundle, okay. I got, which is, which is really ironic, um, both him and Aaron Hernandez came into the league the same year. We drafted him from Arizona. Uh... And we drafted um, Aaron Hernandez in like the fourth or fifth round or something like that. Or maybe third round. No, fourth or fifth round. Um, from the um, Florida Gators. He was part of that le like legendary Tim Tebow-led national championship uh, winners uh, Florida Gators team. Now, when I bought this picture, um, the guy explained to me. Come on, Kitty. Come on, come on. You're cramping my style, man. Um, 
typically when you buy something from a vendor, the, the, the last thing that you want to do is believe everything they, that, they t that they tell you. Um, I'm not big on hype or believing shit that people say for the most part. And when he told me that this was a one of one, um, I was like, there's no way. There's no way that this is a one of one. He says, no, it, it literally is. Uh, it literally is a one of one. Um, and uh, how how this picture, how this photo came to be, you guys, was um, they were doing a signing. Okay. There's a certificate of authenticity right there, you guys. That's Gronk right there. He's actually sitting down. They snap a picture of this of him as he's signing this in particular. I wish they would have actually showed like Fran, like that jersey in there, the picture where Fran's actually signing the jersey. He's actually signing my jersey. That jersey that's on the table that he's signing is the one that's in my case, okay? So I wish they would have actually showed that here. Um, now listen, guys. I didn't believe him. Uh, I've had the photo, like I said, ever since Gronk's rookie year. I bought it in a uh, bundle um, with this, um, a Patrick Chung in his, in the um, in the red uniforms, their throwbacks, and also Aaron Hernandez in their throwbacks. And um, this one was the more valuable one, guys. Uh, the Aaron Hernandez one worked out to be like uh, around 60 or 70 bucks for the value uh, when I was purchasing it. Purchasing it, um, And um, the Patrick Chung was like only like 25 or 30 bucks. Not, no big deal. They're... Now here's the deal, guys. I never would have thought in a million years. First off, I didn't believe that this was a one of one. So I was looking through all of his autographs trying to find another one in there. Now, what I did find was the picture. But I could not find another one in that in, in his thousands of goddamn autographs that he had there. There he has a whole Rob Gronkowski section, okay. Um, and I I found like six other pictures like this, but no Rob Gronkowski guys, no no Rob Gronkowski silver pin auto certificate of authenticity. This is their AFC Championship. He's holding the. Um, the Mar Hunt tr uh, trophy there. That's the first time he's ever held that trophy in his life. He, you can see he's just, you know, like, awesome. This is awesome, man. Got that backwards white hat. Going to the Super Bowl, baby. Um, oh, God, come on. He ended up going to lose that Super Bowl against the Giants, too, guys. So, anyways. Um, I didn't believe the guy. Straight up. Okay? And I... I, I I took some time to uh, to investigate it today, okay? And what my investigations have <laughs> come to is you can buy this picture, guys. You can buy it. Walmart has it. Sears has it in their online stores. You can buy the picture, but you are not going to find one that's signed. And if you guys can find this picture and it's signed... With a certificate of authenticity, and it's not a fake or a forge, I, 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 I will, I don't know. I'll give you a, I'll give you a hundred dollar gift card if you can, if you can find this picture autographed. Listen, man, I've spent the last two fucking days, and literally the last four hours on my phone, literally goes dead like three times because I am trying to find this GD picture autographed. Not happening, guys. Not happening. I can find the picture on a two, on a couple of different websites. Just the picture, though. No frame, no no border, no nothing. But I cannot find one that's signed. Let alone silver pin signed, guys. Um, so, what happened was the guys that run this sh this show, okay? They're um, they're from uh. See if I can get that to focus there. Come on, baby. Get your, get, your, get your focus on. Oh, my goodness. What? NewEnglandPicture.com, but come on. Anyways, it's from... Uh, Tim Hanna's the president, and this is uh, from... Um, yeah, this is New England Picture, okay? 
these guys deal these guys actually deal directly with TriStar. And what happened was they grabbed one of these photos. And they're like, well, while he's signing all the footballs and while he's signing the jerseys and while he's signing all the other pictures, let's see if he'll sign this one and it, it'll be a one of one. And they figured that they can make a, a real quick buck on that because if it's a one of one and they could convince the buyer that it was a one of one, I bought it. Because it, there's no other picture of Rob Gronkowski holding on to a Lamar Hunt trophy. They do have one of him holding on to a Super Bowl trophy. Uh, but what makes this, this one unique is it's his rookie year, you guys. And there's also somebody standing behind him who is like, uh, oh my God. One of the best draft picks that the Patriots have ever taken. Seriously. Now, this picture here was... Uh, after he had already been traded to Seattle, and then we actually took him back, and he went from wearing the number 83 to 84. So if I haven't given you enough hints, you guys are uh, you guys are crazy. If, if you're a Patriots fan, you know who the hell that is standing behind him. But at the same time, you're not going to find another picture of Rob Gronkowski with a Lamar Hunt trophy, wearing the Super Bowl edition hats. I know that was the one where we went to the, play the Giants and we lost. But also, you got the man... That that Super Bowl MVP, formally, standing in back of him. Awesome picture. I picked this one over all the rest of them, and I'm glad I did. I didn't believe the guy for one second that it was a one of one, and that they only had they only took one of these in to sign it, have it signed. Uh, and their thought their thought process behind their thought process behind it was, oh, okay, well, we'll um, we'll have them sign it. And because it's a silver pen one of one, and there's not another one out there that's signed like this, um, we should be able to fetch top dollar for it. And at that time, a rookie Rob Gronkowski autograph um, was going for about like 100, 150 bucks, 90 bucks on a, on a picture with a frame and all that shit. Uh, the cheapest one that I saw there was like 80 or 90 dollars. And then Aaron Hernandez was just below that. The Julian Edelmans were just starting to go up a bit. Um, Donta Hightower, um, was starting to go up a bit, uh, Patrick Chung, uh, was one that I had to get, I, I grabbed that one, because it was actually his, he actually, we actually sent him off to, um, to the, um, to the Eagles for a season, he actually went and played for the Eagles for one season, and this right here was the year that he actually came back and started playing for the Patriots again, so I was like, Snap, I'll take it. So I grabbed it. So I got the bundle. Now, the Aaron Hernandez picture that went with this one, guys, is him stiff-arming uh, Jets safety uh, or corner uh, screen, whatever his name was, Buster Screen or whatever it was. Uh, and everybody, like, totally hated on him. He thought he was so good, but he really wasn't. He actually sucked. He got burnt by Gronk and Hernandez in that same game where they were wearing those red jerseys. Um, and there's actually a picture of him in his red jersey signed where he's stiff arming screen. And then the other picture of, Her of Hernandez also showing uh, him, uh, Hernandez, stiffing screen. So it was, it's, it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool um, series of photos that they took during that game. And during that game, they also snapped one of Patrick Chung where he's chilling in, his, um, in, in the red uniform as well. Now, if you guys, that Aaron Hernandez photo, okay... As I was looking through, sorry, my RC room is a mess right now, you guys. As I was looking through the, um, to, to find that Gronkowski picture, you guys, as I was looking through and trying to find the Gronk picture, you guys, you guys, I have, I have a lot of nice memorabilia, you guys. I'm just trying to figure out what these are. Oh, there's Chung right there, you guys. Now, I don't know what this Chung picture is worth right now. Uh, you see how he's wearing number 25? He always wears number 23, but the year that he came back from the Eagles, we had to put him in 25 because somebody else was wearing the number 23. Uh, super nice photo, you guys. And then I also have the Aaron Hernandez one, right? I gave it to my friend Tommy. He's never had an autograph in his life. Um, super big Patriots fan, just like myself. Um, and uh, <laughs> was like, Dave, that would be awesome if you gave me that i was like look man it, he's 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 in the wall of shame right now he's in the wall of i put if if you leave the patriots on bad terms okay first off, okay so if you leave the patriots on bad terms you guys this is my other one 
this is this is awesome this you can still buy this one uh there's not too many of them left out there they're about 100 bucks 150 bucks but this is the snow game against the titans where he threw six tds five and one quarter i believe five tds in the second quarter that's right we won 59 to zero you guys um so this was in that game as well that picture was taken in that game and then the, the other two the other hernandez picture and our the hernandez picture no this was a different game sorry the Hernandez picture and the Chung picture were both taken in the same game. Uh, but anyways, guys, as I was looking up, trying to find one of these autographed, okay, which I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Two days of searching, you guys, I ha I can't find one. I cannot find, I can't even find a fake one, you guys. So this is legit. This is a legit one of one, guys. Eat your hearts out, you guys. Make me an offer because I'm telling you right now, this is a one of one. There's not another one out there like this, you guys. This is so unique. This is probably the most unique picture that you will ever come across as a Patriots fan for the simple fact that this picture wasn't even supposed to be in the rotation of, of getting signed. Not to mention, he was not silver pen signing that day. He was actually signing with the uh, regular like black or blue markers that they use. Um, they actually pulled out a silver pin, like, especially for this. This one, I always wanted to meet Tom Brady in person. I met him once, and I had a uh, McFarlane doll signed. Also, Teddy Bruschi, I saw him, and he signed one for me. And they were also playing the Steelers, and I got to meet, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, shit, I can't think of his name, number 43. Oh, my God, he was, he's so, so, like, legendary, um... Oh my God! Why can't I think? Of it? Oh, Troy Polamalu, and I had his doll, and I actually, actually, he signed that doll for me as well. So I have a Brewski signed McFarland doll, I have a Brady signed McFarland doll, and I have a, um, a Troy Polamalu signed uh, McFarland doll, and I also have a Reggie Bush one too. When the when the Saints came up here to play the Patriots years and years ago, when they had Ricky Williams, um, <clears throat> uh, no, that's not when I got that. I got that during a preseason game. Was it a preseason game? Yes, I got that one signed at a preseason game. Um, family members live down south that are um, that are Saints fans, and I ended up getting to go to a, a Saints preseason game. I think that I got it. Were they playing the Patriots, or was that a regular season game? I can't remember, guys. It's so long ago. But I ended up getting Reggie Bush's signature also on a McFarland doll. Super fucking cool. Um, and that's it, man. I have four McFar four McFarland dolls that are autographed, but I did it on my own. There's no certificate of authenticity with them, but that doesn't matter. They're not. It's not something that I would ever part with. I would never part with any of those. I don't care if anybody. I don't care if someone offered me the world. Um, I would never part with any of those autographed uh, McFarland dolls. Um, those were signed through my efforts, not because somebody they actually sat down and signed them, and I went and bought one. <clears throat> no, I had those dolls for many, many years. Collectors' items. <clears throat> and these are already like rare versions of the dolls as it is. Um, you don't, you don't, when you go to buy a McFarlane statue doll, there's certain ones that you want and certain ones that you don't want. You don't want the ones that they make a bunch of. You want to find the ones that actually, if you look at the base plate, it'll have a number on it. If, if you look at the base plate and you see a number, that means that it's a rare one. That means that it's a, it's a, uh, it's a sought after one. And trust me, Toys R Us. You have to know people in Toys R Us and know exactly when those shipments show up. Because I'm telling you right now, if you don't know somebody at the Toys R Us or any of the other toy stores when those show up, and uh, they put them out, guys. They don't do favoritism. They don't hold on to anything for anyone. It's just they put them out. And you better be there that day or you're you're not getting the rare one. There's like one rare one per every like four or five boxes. So they'll get like six or seven boxes. And there's going to be one rare one, maybe two in that in that um in that palette and uh if you're not there you're not getting it <clears throat> and it just so happens that i um knew somebody at the uh, toys r us and i got in there um for the most part every time those shipments came in uh but anyways guys back to my point the aaron hernandez photo i just saw online for 700 dollars, guys 699 dollars, but they're out of stock there's no more. You cannot find one for sale. They don't have one for sale. And I know where one is. <clears throat> I gave it to my buddy T Tommy because he doesn't have an, he never, he's never had an autograph of a Patriot. And I was like, well, what better one to give to him? Um, 
I didn't realize once he committed suicide in his fucking jail cell, his autographed pictures would skyrocket through the roof and every little wannabe gangster out there on the planet wants it for that reason because he killed somebody he's a murderer and you know how all these little I, I don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what drove the price of it up and the fact that you know the way he died and how he died and the fact that he was a great football player man with just some serious mental issues um and and definitely hanging out with the wrong fucking people too uh, he he was just a very nasty um mean morbid person uh, like literally, uh, there was a story where Wes Welker and him were in the, uh, in the weight room together, just them two. And, uh, Welker made a comment and, uh, Hernandez threatened his fucking life. And it, it was so serious looking and sounding to Welker that he actually feared for his life. He feared for himself, um, that Hernandez was going to fucking kill him or something. You know, he brought this to the coach's attention right before he got traded away to, uh, right before he got traded away to, uh, Denver, uh, Welker did. Uh, and he's like, listen, man, you guys got to be careful for Hernandez, man. He's, uh, he's not, he's not what you guys think he is. And nobody, nobody, nobody did anything about it. Welker warned them way ahead of time and nobody did anything. But anyways, guys, you guys are looking at something that there is literally only one of literally on the fucking planet. You guys, unbelievable guys, unbelievable that I was there at the time when I bought these. I, was, I literally spent the last of my fucking money on this and the other pictures as a bundle. Spent the rest of my money, literally, down, I was down to like 20 bucks. And then I bought a pack of cigarettes and some soda and got something to eat and I was broke. But I had a one of one, supposedly. I didn't believe it. No way I believed it. It was only a matter of time before this picture got out there with other autographs on it, with like seeing more autographs for what, eight, nine, 10, 11 years, or however long it's been since I, since I bought this picture. <clears throat> um, I never looked into it. I only recently just looked into it because I was trying to, I was trying to figure out if it really was a one of one. I saw the picture in my closet and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. You know what I mean? Started looking into it. You guys, I cannot find one. I cannot find one. And for good reason, because there isn't one. This is the only one, you guys. This is the only Rob Gronkowski autographed picture like this. You can buy this picture. You can even buy it licensed like, like this is down here. Uh, it'll have this. It won't have this over here. These right here, that's, these are because it's licensed by the NFL. So that means that the NFL gets gratuities on it. And then this right here, the sticker right here, which matches the number on the back. Uh, for the authenticity, that's the authenticity sticker right there. You punch, you punch that number in right there, <laughs> and it'll bring you to their website, and it'll tell you what it is. And listen, guys, it's it. This is it. This is it. Uh, I went as far as, like I said, looking through all of his Gronkowski pictures while I was there, and I found just about every single goddamn Gron Gronkowski autograph up to that point. Um, uh, there was one in particular, a really popular one, that was actually just a little bit uh, less than this one was. <clears throat> and uh, it's where he got hit real hard and he he got flipped up onto his back and he landed in the end zone on his back and his neck. But they, they took the picture as he was like mid-airborne and he's like flat out about, about ready to flat, uh, go flat on his back and fucking uh, tweak his neck. And... Um, that was one of the more popular ones, but man, there was not another autograph like this. I saw a bunch of pictures in there. You could just buy the picture and the frame. Actually, I bought these frames. They actually only come with this insert like this. I actually had to buy the frames, and I, I, I didn't cheap out either, guys. You got I got really nice frames for these. Um, that one already came in a frame. Uh, I always wanted to meet Brady again and get that signed. That would be a one-of-a-kind if I got that signed and had like a picture of me standing next to him as he was signing it for proof. Um, which is what I did with the dolls, you guys. Um, so, um, but here it is, guys. A one of one Gronkowski holding the Lamar Hunt trophy with none other than who is it, guys? Who is it? Come on, man. Super Bowl MVP. Super Bowl MVP. Like, literally, there's not very many wide receivers that make MVP, man. Um, and then I, you know, I have a lot of miscellaneous ones, too, guys, that aren't autographed. 
Uh, this is this is one of my favorites as well. Um, really nice frame. Like I said, I don't cheap out on the frames, guys. I put really nice frames on these things. Uh, I actually have a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of autographs, memorabilia. This whole closet's full of memorabilia and autographs. Um, my rule is I don't keep it unless it's a rookie or an autograph. If it's not a rookie or an autograph. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, I just thought I would show you guys that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. This is normally an RC channel where I fly RC planes. As you can see, they're all over the place. But I thought that this would, uh, this would, this would start some buzz. And uh, I, I honestly just want to know what it's worth. Um, that's it. Just want to know what it's worth. Dave's RC, guys. Peace. All right, guys, so Dave's RC here, guys. Um, sorry to have rambled on a little bit, but I'm really excited about this picture, you guys. Like, literally, I spent the last two days trying to find this autograph, and I can't. Uh, so the guys were not bullshitting me. It is a one-of-one. One. There, Like I said, there's many of those pictures out there, you guys. You can even get them nice and framed and everything. You can even get the NFL logo stickers and everything like that. But you're, you're not going to find one autograph. And the fact that it's in silver pen makes it, like, even better. Uh, I just like silver pen autographs. Um, I've been collecting shit like this for a long time, guys. And typically when I buy something like this, um, it never turns out this way. Like, bought a Jimmy Garoppolo autographed rookie card, patch card, super rare, like, uh, one of one card. And um, as soon as he left the Patriots and went over to the... Uh, the 49ers and Torres ACL, <laughs> the card like plummeted, you guys. It's on the way back up now again, but it's still worth less than what it was when I bought it. So it's going up though. It's still going back up. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I always had the worst luck with buying autographs. So I always told myself from now on, it's only good autographs and autographs that are on something that, you know, like if, if I get an autographed football, it's got to be on a leather Duke football, the Duke football. It's got to be an NFL leather football. It's got to be a real football. I'm not getting a fucking autograph of Drew Brees on a pleather ball that you can buy from Walmart. That's just stupid. Ignorant. They totally lose their value once you buy them. You got to be smart about this shit, guys. When you buy something, make sure it's something that there's not a lot of out there. Uh, fortunately for me with that picture, there really is no other one out there. Um, I'm curious to know from a community of people who are going to watch this video what you guys think it's worth. Uh, I've seen some rare Rob Gronkowski pictures where there's like only 10 of them. And, you know, they're in the, you know, thousands of dollars, guys. Thousands of dollars, you know. I saw one in there for 14 grand, guys. One of one for $14,000. So that's a one of one. And I can get it authenticated as a one in one of one of one. Uh, our Gronkowski can say, yeah, that was a one of one. It wasn't even supposed to be there that day. Who knows, man? Who knows? And the fact that it was something that wasn't even supposed to be in the in the uh, rotation of, of things he was signing that day. Um, it was kind of just thrown in by the people that were um, uh, buying his time to sign the autographs, guys. So, sorry I took so long. Sorry, I get really excited when shit like this happens. This is very rare that this happens, you guys. Like, the only thing in here, literally, that I know is worth a lot of money is my my autographed Tom, Tom Brady football from uh, Super Bowl Forty Nine when they played the Seahawks. And uh, I know how much that ball is worth. And it is definitely probably one of the most valuable things in this house. Uh, and the fact that I just let it set out in a plastic case like that is kind of kind of irresponsible. It should actually be in a locked case with like uh, security measures and, and countermeasures and shit. Um, the thing that makes that ball different than all the all the other ones that he signed, you guys, is that was actually a game used ball. You can actually see marks on it from where like it had hit something, or like a face mask or something. Um, it's it's just crazy. That ball is so valuable and so important to me. Um, there's not there's not a lot of them. I think that was like one of ten. One of ten that he that Tom Brady signed of the game used balls. Uh, and yes, it is deflated. 
<laughs> on purpose. I deflated the ball. I had to make it comfortable for Tom, man. If he ever wants to come throw the ball, it's got to be, you know, comfy for Tom. No, I'm just kidding. I hate that deflate gate shit just as much as any other Pats fan. But you guys give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the one-of-one one picture that I have that I have just now confirmed as a one-of-one one because I can't find another one like it, you guys. So if you guys can find another one like that, um, by all means, um, hit me up in the chat. Hit me up in the comments. Um, I literally scoured the internet for hours and hours and hours and hours. My phone dying like a couple of times during, during the process because I wasn't paying attention. Literally just scouring every single website, eBay, uh, Amazon, uh, the Patriots place, um, the place where I bought that picture from. Um, there's not one, guys. <laughs> there's not one that's autographed anyway. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think it's worth. Um, uh, I'm really excited about this, guys. Dave's RC, guys. Peace.